Hello, my name is Ben Siskin and I am the art teacher at Edison Middle School. I love art, always have. Even as a young kid, I had a uh, extraordinary eye for what makes good art. I feel strongly that the best way to help children to be good artists is to display classic works of art so that they can see what they're doing wrong and how to get it right. I really wouldn't be doing the kids any favors if I just told them I liked everything they made. <laughs> you know, they're in school, so everything has to be graded. Um, it's very difficult in my class to get anything above a C. Uh, how could you? You're children. You need so much more time to grow as artists. So normally people tend to live in that D, D minus. I would never fail somebody because art is subjective. Nonetheless, I will let them know that they failed uh, to do good work. I have to show you this one. This is from Shannon Didier. She's an eighth grader here and I am seeking to have her expelled. It's interesting, what I found is that um, nobody gets uh, better at making art. They just make different things. Um, I try my best to find something that, that the kids are good at. Uh, usually it tends to be um, clay. Nobody can really get clay that wrong because whatever the cup looks like, it's still a cup as long as it holds water and most of them do. If a piece of art is particularly bad, uh, what I'll do is just leave it out in the hallway on a, on a table and uh, that way all the kids all day long you know, pass it, and there, nobody's more honest than your, your your colleagues, you know. And so that way the kid is kind of forced all day long to hear, oh my God, you made that? Uh, that's terrible. Uh, you know, you're fat or uh, faggot, they'll say. Uh, it really doesn't matter what they say. The important thing is that the kid is getting feedback on his art, and uh, that's one of the things I provide. I'm a very uh, passionate teacher, very hands-on approach. I think it's important that a teacher give feedback as the kids are doing the work and not wait till they're done, you know, when it's too late and it looks like hell. I have a very good eye for knowing where a kid is headed. You know, they, they just after a couple of brush strokes, I can say, whoa, stop, uh, this is going nowhere but downhill. This is a piece I just hate. You know, I feel like I wish I could have just said to this kid, hey, stop, no amount of work is gonna make this any better. As the art teacher uh, at Edison Middle School, I think one of the most important things I can do is uh, just to be honest with my students. If they hand me a piece of artwork, I'm going to just blurt out my first reaction. Often, it's not a word as much as a physical <coughs> kind of sound and face. Um, after that, uh, if they have more questions, I'm happy to explain to them why it's not good. Uh, I might say, looks like a third grader did it, or uh, the hell is that? Or uh, is this done? The, the children that pass through my classroom, I don't want them to get these false hopes where they think, oh, someday I could be an artist. You know, it's important that they know, no, you can't. One thing that drives me crazy is when parents feel like my grading is unfair to their kids. Parents have to understand not everybody can be an artist, you know, and it's my job to make sure that any kids that aren't artists don't, don't pass my class, or if they do, at least get a, a grade low enough so that they never try to make art again. These irate parents call me all the time and they're saying, uh, shouldn't my kid get a credit for the effort he put in? And to that I say, in a, in a history test, sh should someone's daughter get a, an A because she filled in all the circles? Or in, in, in science class, do they get a B if they make the, the lab explode? I, I'm not gonna pull my punches. No other teacher has to. Why, why is it always the art teacher where they say, oh, you can't yell at the kids. You can't uh, threaten them. When I started at this school, uh, the reputation of art class was that, oh, it's a lot of fun and you're gonna make fun things. And uh, what I did is just like, just took that all off the table and said, no, 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 you should sweat over your art. Art class, they should be almost in pain. They should be so racked with, oh, I'm not good enough because that really is the only way an artist will grow. I always say being in this class is, is tougher than being on the Edison football team. You, you gotta be willing to just get 
knock down and get right back on your feet and, and, and finish your paper mache project. One time I had a girl say to me, you know, my mom liked it. And so what I started doing is uh, bringing in the parents uh, after school hours and just explaining to them why the work is no good. Because uh, clearly the message wasn't getting home. I'll often have the parent look at their child's work and then look at an actual piece of art and just say to the parent, okay, you see the difference, right? You know, because sometimes it's just you're just dealing with people who just don't know art at all. And that's good for me to know too, because then when that child's alone in school with me, I can doubly let them know, don't listen to your parents. Uh, this is bad. Uh, don't do this anymore. Look at it. Well, he used all the colors. Oh, Jesus Christ. One of my jobs as our teacher at Edison Middle School is to be honest with my students and to say, you know, hey, uh, this is crap, belongs in a Hallmark store, or wow, I'd imagine seeing this in a museum. No, none of them ever create any art like that. These kids, I don't want to set them up for failure. If they're untalented, they should know right away so they don't waste any time making art when they could be learning a, a skill like uh, how to make keys uh, at a hardware store. I can be sort of the first firewall to say, don't be an artist, you know? Stop trying to be artistic. Customer service or retail, these are the things that I'm often having to, to say to kids. This is good. This is crap. Yours is shit compared to this. You can see that, right? I'm not blind, am I? One of my favorite parts of the year is the semester end projects and that's a lot of fun because I base my entire grade on my first reaction to the piece. So I, I, don't, I tell the kids I don't want to see it uh, I, while they're in here painting, I'm out having a cigarette or uh, just in my car, you know, listen to some music. And then what I do is when they're all done and the paint is dried, I have them come in one at a time and they can explain to me, well, Mr. Siskin, this is what I meant to do and this is what I was going for. And that way I can say, well, here's why you didn't do it right. Here's how you didn't get it right. And here's why it's no good. All a teacher sees is the final product. And with children, the final product is so poor. Here you go, Mr. Siskin.